Hey, what is up everybody? James Madison Audits here. We're out here in front of the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. If you're not sure where this is, it's Flagler County. Pretty simple. But I'm out here with someone that you might know is that's Honor Your Oath right out here. And we're out here with this vehicle today. Yesterday you were stopped and it indicated uh, from the deputy that he thought that your tent on your window was illegal, right? Yeah, he said uh, he wanted to check my windows and I uh, applied the fifth and said I I don't want to participate. I don't want to self-incriminate myself. Yeah, exactly. So when you... There's also Fourth Amendment implications too as well. Absolutely. So when you, you cite the Fifth Amendment, that's providing any documents, any evidence, doing anything like that uh, uh, for, for self-incrimination. I think Riley versus United States covers some of that with some documents that were being brought in. But today... In order for him to check my windows, he requested for me to roll my window down about this far. Yep. And my window was rolled up, but this one was rolled all the way down because he was standing here. Yeah. And in order for him to check my window tent, I would have had to cooperate with his investigation. Yeah, you have to do some action that he's directing you to do, mm -hmm. become uh, an assistant or an agent to him in order to facilitate whatever he's trying to, evidence that he's trying to collect and gather. Exactly. Now, your hands are right there on the window right there. If and I just wanted to add this to you real quick. Yes. Uh, James Madison Audits. This car, I got it with 50 miles on it. Yep. Uh, this is all original. This is all factory. I've never modified anything on this vehicle. Yeah, and I see that. Yesterday, since the traffic, was it yesterday? It was the day before. Day before. Uh, since the day before, have you modified this or taken any tent off uh, this window? Because it looks the same uh, to me as just after you came to me on the traffic stop. And I even did a little video and showed the, the window as clear as can be. Now, if you put your hand back on the window right there, I know Deputy Gaddy was inside of your car. His hands were inside of your car. So in order to put a tent meter on the car, he would have to reach in and put some type of device on your car. Is that right? I That's mean, correct. yeah. He had a, a, a measuring device. Yeah, so once you cross the plane of the opening of the vehicle, that's when government and law enforcement is now intruding inside of your vehicle and then doing searches. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know of any cases or anything like that that prohibit it, but just this plain and simple fact of a Fourth Amendment violation says like, hey, I'm, I don't want your hands. I don't want your devices. I don't want anything that is in here. If you see it, then you must write a ticket for it if that's what you feel like it. But I'm not here to provide and give you any further uh, to allow you to collect evidence for me. I'm not here to assist you to collect evidence against yeah. myself. Nope. And uh, I just want to say this, James Madison Audis and I are not attorneys. Uh, I'm not telling anybody else to do this, but uh, if somebody wants to check my tent, I, I'm just not going to cooperate. I'm just going to plead the fifth. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. But you have to then further check it with a device. Right. And that's a fourth to me. By opening this window and allowing him to come in here and put something on here, he can further peer into your vehicle and yeah. maybe see something. Of course, I don't have anything illegal, but that that, that gets into your civil rights and not uh, to self-incriminate and Fourth Amendment rights to be free from unlawful searches and seizures. That's right. Now, you're a former law enforcement officer. I am. Madison Alts. What was your opinion about what he said as uh, far as when I refused to roll my window down, I pled the fifth. He said, well, what I'll do is I'll just tell the judge with my training from what i can see i'll just write a ticket for everyone he didn't wind up doing that yeah because i think he knew better yeah i went flying court but what's your opinion about a cop just being able to look at a window and say well if i can't test it with the actual meter i'm going to write you a ticket well there's two things there what could be taking place in his mind is the probable cause a reasonable ground for suspicion supported by circumstances sufficiently strong to warn a cautious person that he or she is guilty of the crime the tent violation that he's accused he'll try to justify that all day long but based off of what I saw, his training experience is flawed and he is not good with training and experience, specifically with tent meters. Now, I, if I were doing that, I would have probably, yes, wrote the citation because I believe that it was darker than it was. But however, doing so many tent violations, there's factors. You've got the interior of the car, you have the lighting conditions, you have so much stuff that you should err on the side of caution with people's freedoms, their wallets, and the penalties that could take place later on with their insurance. And as you're training as a law enforcement yep. officer, you, you've issued uh, tent tickets before, right? No. Um, okay, so, well, would you be able to tell just by looking at this to see if it's... What is your opinion of this? Yeah, so I've tested several uh, windows. I've done that. I've seen them. And based off of this right here, I have not stuck this on the meter yet. We do have a tent meter here. We're going to calibrate it in just a second and see what it looks like. Um, but based off of this right here... The fronts are 100% legal. The backs are 100% legal. I can see, what I used to use as a gauge is I used to use being able to see the uh, the seat belt latches. I would be able to see uh, the occupants inside or even see through the other side. When you bend down like this and you look through the other side over there, you can see light coming through. 
if I have to guess on this one, this one's going to be somewhere in the range of 50 to 75% clarity or, or light transmission. The back ones are going to be somewhere around the range of 25 to 35 uh, light uh, transmission between those two. So okay. if you're all right with it, we'll zoom in here just a little bit. This is it right here. This is an enforcer tent meter. This was issued to me at the police department where I worked at. Uh, this is one I purchased on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you can get it. Uh, it's certified as of January, 2021. So what we're going to do here is we're going to test it. This right here is a 60% uh, piece of, it's like Lexan and it's, it's going to read 60% or plus or minus uh, one or 2% on there. The other one inside is another one, which is a, a little bit darker. And this one should read at, pull this out. This one's gonna read at 30%. So once we test these two in here, they have to be very close to what you see here. Otherwise- So is it the darker the number goes, it's, uh, or the lower the number goes, the darker the tent? Yeah, the, okay. the lower the number, the darker the tent, okay. because uh, that's how much light transmission is coming through. It's letting um, only 30% of the light through. Gotcha. All right, so let's do this here. We're gonna test this. Got my hands full. We put that on, it's gonna say within 30 to 31, there we go. And what I used to do is I would pull it out and reposition it and just do it again, just to have it in a couple different areas. There it is, 30 to 31, it bounced to 31. We'll do this one here. And this one is gonna be 59 to 60. You can see that, sorry, I have it all sideways, 59 to 60. I'll pull it out, test it, and put it in there, 60. Now, if it stays within those 2% like that, upper, uh, you know, higher or lower, it's good to go. So let's test this here and see what Kyle Gaddy and his training experience says. You ready? We'll do the front one here first. And I'm gonna stick this on here. I do it in two spots just like that as well. We'll put it in. 69, 70% right there. That is 70% light transmission. Um, since the glass is, uh, is thick, there is some light reduction in there when it, when that laser shoots through there and, and gets a reading. So we take it off, we'll put it on here one more spot. There we go, 77. And what was the first one? 70. 70. So when it gets a difference in variation like that, I'll put it into a different area. 77, 76. That could be because there's dirt, there's an obstruction there. And there we go, that's perfectly legal and lawful by three times the amount. 28% is the front. In Florida, 76, it's about three times. Now, the test of this one here, what do you think this one is? I have no idea. So, <laughs> I know it's factory, so it should be fun. Uh, this one has to be 15% uh, in the back. So let's do it, put it on there, 22. So 15% would be unlawful. 15% would be unlawful and in the 22 back. 22 is? Is legal and lawful. Let's put it one more spot, 21. Three spots, 21. So I have a 21% uh, uh, on the back. So that is 5% legal over legal or 6% or over legal. So it's 15% uh, uh, in the back. So <laughs> Officer Gaddy's training experience, I think he's flawed. He cannot determine uh, whether tent is legal or lawful. I mean, he's not within 2%. Well, huh. that's one thing down that he was accusing you of here. The other two things that down that he's accusing you of is following too closely. Uh, the two things on there is that the lines are 10 uh, feet long. The space in between the lines are, what, uh, 30 feet? And then from what I gathered, you're about 100 feet behind the car when he's accusing you of following too closely. And your driving patterns that I showed on the video that I just did, if you haven't seen that, it's in the description, show that you follow the law each and every time when you pass a car and move. Okay. So here's this one here. This is Jeff's car. He's got to get out of here and take off. But that's his. Now, watch when I pan over here to the sheriff's deputy. If this is at 20%, what do you think this dark, dark tent is at? Uh, is it legal? Is it not? Makes me wonder. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing at the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. I'll see you guys soon. All right, Jeff, take it easy.